keep forgetting fucking mirrored sides and shit. <laughs> Good tip for off the wall stuff, I guess, to get you started is, um. Oof. So let's check this out real quick. So let's say, you know, you go I off like the wall. I like the boost jump one. What's that? I like, I've been getting a hold of, like, this one. Hold on. I'm, like, not even doing it. I'm not actually seriously trying to do anything right now. Hold on, let me see. Ah, uh, well, I hit that really bad. So here's how to fix that problem what you just had right there. So look, you, when you, you come up the wall, you tell me about the whole stop jump off the wall thing, and it's just it's so. You gotta stop and then go. It's just the quickest little move, and you'll always yeah. be behind the ball every single time because if you do that all at all times of the game, even when, um, you know you're doing shadowing movements, that has to you know you hit it off the wall, you check it. Look at that, I can get recovered faster than you every single time. Because when you stop, you're not going to jump and then boost. You're just going to boost and jump at the same time. That has to be part of your, your muscle memory. But, like... Yeah, it's just the turning. I just... I, every time I turn, it's, like, not the right way. You have to stop and readjust yourself. And once you get better at it, you'll be able to understand when to jump, how to jump, and how fast you can jump. I don't so stop. So, check, the, check this out. Ready? I understand that. Just tell me the button press again. You just got a break. It's a quick tap on the break. So I'm going to go up the wall here. Let's say I'm in the middle of the game. I want to score on blue. I go up the wall. I hit it. I stop for a second. And now I just feather my boost to it. It's, it's a lot easier instead of doing this. Usually what happens is you don't stay behind the ball. So it's harder for you to dribble or hit the ball better. See, I just stop and fall down. and That's, that's where you're going to have to find that medium. You don't want to hold it and then jump. You want to tap it so that you kind of stop for a second. If you do, like right now, if on the other monitor watch like a 1v1 game of any pro or high level player, and they go up the wall or do anything, one, their precision is going to be a lot better, so that's out of the question, but when they go off the wall or do anything, it's a quick stop and movement. So I can adjust myself very easily. I'm not even air rolling, I'm not doing anything. You'll always stay behind the ball if you do it just quick enough. So instead of doing the jump, when what you're doing, let's say you're going up the wall, and then you jump away, I'm jumping with the ball, and sometimes, like you and me, you'll just fly away, and you won't have control of yourself. So once you tap the ball off the wall, you want to give yourself a little split-second break? That it's, I think it's just weird because my regular break is on left trigger, and then switching my finger to L1 to, like, fucking... Oh, that's that's interesting. So I have my middle fingers on the triggers and my first fingers on my bumpers. So I don't have to yeah, move any I fingers away. I never, I never play like that. So that's the problem is the keybinds also. You're going to have to figure out a way to smoothly put everything together at once. And that's why my binds are the way they are. I don't have to move my fingers anywhere. So if you go into like one of those... Yeah, uh, that, one, that one's too much. I'll learn that one later. I, that's like the least of my... Your game, if you do that and you learn it quickly, you'll rank up so fast. Just because people can't really aerial very well. And you'll just hit it over them. So go into the training, the wall to air dribble training, and just tap just it, break, and jump. Time, I just have a hard time fucking with this whole mirrored vision to arm thing. It's like I've been playing this game for fucking years and it still makes no sense. And even if the ball's off the wall too, you want to break and stay behind the ball. It's always that.